Welcome to an MCC Library tutorial providing information on citing articles from library databases using the current MLA style. You will be interested in viewing this tutorial when you have already retrieved your intended research articles from one or more MCC Library databases. You should be ready to cite the articles you have found in the current MLA format. Due to the possibility of errors, do not rely on an MLA citation that might be provided by the database for your article. This tutorial is shown in three major steps. First, you have located your articles. Here is an example of an article record page from an MCC library database and the opened full text of the article. This example is from a Wilson Web database called Education Full Text. You need to make sure you get the complete information about the article to write your citation. It is very important to print, email, or save the article record before leaving the database in which you have found your articles. If you only print, email, or save the full text article, you may not have all of your needed information for the citation entry in your MLA Works Cited page. Each database may have a slightly different method for printing citations in full text. Just be sure that you have both when you have retrieved your chosen articles. When printing or saving an HTML full text article, the article record or citation will usually be included on the page. However, if you print or save a PDF full text article, you will need to retain the citation page separately. If you use the database's tools for emailing an article to yourself, the article record will most often be included. To help you understand the process of citing articles accessed from online databases, think of the citation as having two major parts. First, cite the article information almost as if you were citing the print version. and then cite the needed information about how the article was accessed online. The article information that will be included in the citation is as follows. The author. Some articles may not have an author listed. The article title. The title of the magazine, journal, or newspaper in which the article was published. For journals only, you will give the volume and issue numbers and the year of publication. The format is the volume number followed by a decimal point and then the issue number. The year of publication is enclosed in parentheses. For magazines and newspapers, provide the full date of publication. The format is an inverted date with the day, the month or abbreviated month name, and the year. And finally, you'll have the article's page numbers. The information about how the article was accessed online will include the name of the database, for example, Academic Search Complete or Wilson Web OmniFile, the format of publication, which in this case is web, the date you access the article is inverted as day, month, year, your instructor may ask for the web address of the article or database, but that is not a required part of the MLA formatted citation. Let's now take a look back at the article record from the database to view the parts that match up with the needed information for your Works Cited entry. First you have the author, next you have the article title, the journal title, the volume and issue numbers, the year of publication, you would just put 2008 and leave out fall, the complete page numbers, and finally the database name. If you have cited using MLA before, but used the 6th edition, there are some new specifications in the MLA Handbook 7th edition that are worth pointing out. 
You used to either underline or italicize the book titles, publication titles, or database names. Now the only formatting is italics. URLs, as mentioned before, are optional. If you were citing a journal that used continuous page numbering from one issue to the next in a volume, you used to leave out the issue number in that citation. Now, for all journals, regardless of pagination, you provide both the volume and issue numbers in the citation. For all types of citations, you need to note their format, whether it is in print, web, DVD, TV, CD, JPEG, or other formats. It is very important to pay attention to the seemingly little details of the citation, punctuation, formatting, and italics. Pay attention to the MLA citation examples in a handbook or helpful web page and follow the models. Do not forget to include the hanging indention. The first line of a citation is not indented, but the second and additional lines are indented at five spaces. After having completed all of the steps leading up to making this citation, here is the final result. Notice the little details, such as the hanging indention, the use of periods, capitalization, and italics. From this citation, we can say, the article written by C. Kiribo Jackson, entitled Cash for Test Scores, was written in 2008 and published in Education Next, Volume 8, Issue 4 on pages 70 through 77. The full text article was found in OmniFile Full Text Mega and was retrieved on December 15, 2009 by the researcher. This tutorial does not cover citing an ebook, an online book for, from a library database. However, you can follow the same two-part process. First cite the book part and then the online access part. This tutorial also does not cover citing web publications retrieved from general internet sites. Please refer to the official MLA handbook or reputable MLA style web pages for assistance with citing general web sources. The library recommends a set of links for MLA citation help. Here are a few of the links that can be found on the Works Cited in Sources page. We have the MLA official handbook FAQs. From Purdue University, we have MLA formatting and style guide and the MLA list of works cited from research and documentation online. If you need more information, please consult the MLA Handbook 7th Edition. If you need help, the college has a writing center for students working with rented assignments, and they also have on hand editions of the MLA Handbook. You may also contact an MCC librarian for assistance accessing MLA Handbook or other MLA-style websites.